What is up, guys? Um, it's your boy. Hello, JD. I don't know if you have to turn this video upside down to see it. If you do, I will record another one. But, um, what we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna review a movie, um, Sonic the Hedgehog. They uh, it was a beloved game, loved by all people, shapes and sizes. Uh, it was pretty sure it was made by. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sega, <laughs> which I think is a Japanese company. Um, but they they turned it into a movie. Originally, the design was really ugly. Uh, if I can get it to work, the design will be right there. But uh. Yeah, we're going to review Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie. But a poster will be right there. Um, also in the thumbnail. But, so basically, spoil, this is going to be a spoiler-free review right off the bat. Um, basically, what it was, it was just a movie about Sonic and uh, him, his encounter with humans. Um... Yeah, and they had Eggman in there, which you can see by the trailer. Some dude played him, I think his name Jim Jim Carrey. Um, he's an actor, for some of you who don't know him. Um, so yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. But, uh, then we're going to get to the non-spoiler free review right now. Basically, the movie starts off. Uh, him talking about his home world. He's speeding. He's a little kid. He has his little guardian. Um, and the guardian, these people come after his guardian, and they want they want the uh, they want Sonic, and he she gets taken away, but gives him a bag of rings, and when he throws the ring down, the rings down, because you know how in the games you collect rings. Well, in this movie, the rings are like teleportation devices. So when he threw the ring down, he went to Earth. He's and then like they they flash forward like I don't know, I guess a couple years later, when he's like a, a teenager or an adult, and uh, he does something to shut down like the whole USA or the whole world because he like made a made a sonic boom or something and he sh and he caused like a really big blackout and the government found out about it because you know of course they would find out about it and they hired dr eggman he wasn't dr eggman at the time he was i forgot his name forgot his doctor name but they hired him to track sonic down and he met this dude because he kept he saw him and like idolized him or something but he was just a family man had a wife and everything um and he found this dude and they went on an adventure to get his rings back because when the dude shot him with a tranquilizer gun, because he didn't know who he was when he found when he found him, uh, he dropped his rings and his one of the rings fell out. He made a teleportation to San Francisco because Sonic lives in a small town um, near San Francisco, and the rings fell into San Francisco, so. He went on a journey with the dude, ended up saving the day, banishing Dr. Eggman to another uh, realm. Um, so, yeah. And what I would like to give um, the movie. Overall, it wasn't really funny. I mean, it was funny sometimes. It was really corny because he floss about eight times. You know... It appealed to a lot of younger audiences like, you know, 7 through 10. You know, I'm, you know, I'm 12, so I mean, I don't really play, really play Fortnite that much. And I thought it was corny, so you know, younger people. Um, but overall, the story was good. The action was pretty funny. Um... 
Like I said, some of it was funny. Uh, so I would give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, 8 out of 10. Because overall, it was pretty good. Um, none of y'all requested this, but I just wanted to do it because, you know, it's my channel. Uh, I don't care about my little, uh, I mean, I do care about my subscribers, but I, it's my channel, I can do whatever I want in it, you know? Don't care if I grow subscribers or not, it's just fun. Anyway, uh, peace out, um, see you in the next video.